Hey, welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. And I'm Patrick. And thanks so much for tuning in. We are back with round two of the top cut of Nain PC Montreal. Eight players still standing here on a Sunday morning playing right. double elimination. This is round two. So yep. half of the players will be leaving if my math is wrong. It's wrong. It's two players will be leaving. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So two players will be leaving, but neither of these players, because this is the top table. <laughs> That's right. We call you one take Andre for a reason. <laughs> this is going to be a fun game. On yeah. the left, coming in, visiting Canada, that is uh, Kitra. You might know as the artist, Kat Chen, doing That's a right. lot of yeah. alt art stuff you've probably seen all over this video and many more, but also like yeah. official NSG stuff. A lot of really great official NSG stuff. Yeah, a lot stuff. of great, great stuff. And of course, the uh, Montreal SMC. Yeah, I really like that one. Got a good, that commission last year. It turned out great. A cat is playing some kit. That is a kit that they drew. Yeah, that's a great uh, one. We're playing some code gates. We're playing Lobi Somo. We're playing Orca. You know how it is. Rebellion without rehearsal has been very kind to Shaper, let alone to Kit. Of course. And uh Kat's been riding that really well into this top cut. On the right, that's Paul, uh a Montreal player. We've yep. seen him in a couple Love rounds Paul. already so far. He did great top eight at nationals. We put on the Silver Gamma last year, and he's also playing some really strong fundamentals. This is the matchup that I think is very much as of 2024 summer. It's PD versus Kit. Yeah, this is a very common matchup these days. It's like decks that everybody knows now. They're both very strong. What side of the table would you rather be on? I think I'd rather play Corp. I would rather play Runner. Well, that's why we work so well together. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the matchup. It comes down to how quickly can you get the breaker down. If yeah. the Lobi hits the table, you're breaking all that early ice really quickly, and then it's hard for a deck that wants to score up behind one or two ice quickly. So it's all about that pressure. It's all if you can change the agendas. You have a pretty... That, that's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah. I think I can rush out agendas before they get the whole rig together. Yes, it is a bit dependent on that, and we're going to see how aggressive it is. Now, there's a lot of central pressure with Burner and Trickshot, and all that's going to be open. But Paul is going to grease the remote server on top of an upgrade. You cannot yeah. tell what this is. Whether it's a Managarm or Tranquility, an Agenda or Rashida, there's so many ways that you can play this. Yeah. And some of them are obviously harder to deal with others. We don't know if both players mulliganed. I think they sat down before I recorded. Mm. Uh, we don't know what they did. So these look like good hands. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, clearly a good hand because we start with a Spark of Inspiration. That's so, what Kit wants to see in their opening hand. Yeah, this is open deck lists. This should be no real surprise. All these cards hitting the table. slamming those cards on the table. <laughs> Finding the Orca early is the yeah. side of the 50-50. You don't want to find no, yourself No, yeah. The, you want the Lobby Soming. You yes. don't want the Orca right away. The Orca is good for feeding the werewolf. Yes. Now, you can face check into Drafter. That's usually your worst face check for the mid game. And you break it for True. two, which is yes. nice. But Kit, of course, cares about that code gates. And having a code gate breaker when every ice is a code gate is obviously very important. So we're yep. going to need that second spark as soon as possible. And we do not want to draw into our lobby. Let's see if that Diesel finds it poorly. We see a test okay. run in hand. Oh, there's a bunch of altars that I'm not yeah, actually I'm too not familiar sure. with, but that's some great stuff there. But I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. No free lunch. Cool. Just a three credit button. Probably just going to be for money. Just yeah. the three credit button. Daily cast and coming then, down yeah. too. So it looks like here, if Paul has something in their mode server, seamless launch into agenda, we can be flying. Otherwise, a Rashida is a great start as well. A Luminal would be the best you could ask for. It's uh, kind yeah. of hard. Like Luminal's great. If a PD scores a Luminal, it will probably win. Yes, it's usually how it goes. Yeah. Now, some of these kit decks, like if I've been rushing early, some of them are on compile. It is an older FFG yeah. card. Yeah, it's a card that I forgot about until yeah. this like meta emerged. It's a card that is actually a recursion card, and I it's just that it puts the card it recurs on the bottom of your deck once it's done doing its thing. Yes, and which a spark looks of like it is just a luminal in the remote server on top of an upgrade. But what a start there! Okay, strong start. What are we doing with those three clicks? Are we installing. We we'll get a whole turn back here. Get a Rashida down or something. Now, very interesting. We took back the greasing the palm off of precision design. That was our only option. Really great course, to get that yeah. in on turn one here. But now we can push, and it's not even defensive upgrade. We love go. it. Love or tranquility here, yeah. Now that is the altar that you got as part of the CO kit that was attached to this event. Oh, cool. Yeah, really. I nice didn't get one. one of those. Oh, there was a placement thing. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It, it's, uh, it's <laughs> no, no, we can, no, we can talk about it later. It's fine. We, don't, we can talk about it fair, yeah. So greasing the palm now, putting a card into that remote server is plus four credits. Build your own hedge fund. And here okay. if we get two ice on the sure. remote server. Again, that lobby needs to come down. Yep. Cat is going to start their turn on only four I appreciate credits. that Paul is like counting out the full credit payment of yeah. greasing as well. Uh, okay. Install there. We gain two credits from the install on Tranquility Home Grid. Yep. I believe we've already decided that. Yeah. We've got two more Double clicks advance. in there for advancing. Wow. We talked about a fast game. Now, yeah, this, this is, is what you have to do. Double advance. What does Paul have in his hand that he thinks he can get? Just go up? fast enough. Just go fast enough, I guess. Yeah. Now, this looks like... 
generally the installed double events play you see in HB is a mm -hmm. pro, uh, Ikoa project. Yeah. Which is a 5-3 has no on score text. No, it's how you usually want to end the game. But yes. If you can. <laughs> but like, you know? this is where it's interesting. That might not be an Ikoa. No. But if you do it like this, Cat has to play around the fact that it could be an right. Do I do I only have three clicks to run this yes. and so on and so on? Because Cat ne Cat needs to do some work. Needs to yeah. find the breaker, yeah, install the breaker, and then that means running on last click. You're just calling it, saying I don't think that's the Ikua. Yeah. And if you are, you might not spend that much money if it's a trick shot, but it's that's a right. very cool thing that advancing the card one more time can make it look more defended. I mean, I, I, that's what the thing I love about the way agendas work in Netrunner, frankly. Oh, test run. Test run. Okay, so we're going to go. Digging That's original for, art, just getting it, saying Lobi yep. Somi for one turn before the wolf returns to the top of the deck. Yep, but then you'll draw it, or maybe have a spark in hand. Yeah, we'll it looks see. like drawing it is kind of the thing you want to avoid yeah. doing. So a spark <laughs> maybe you can would be shuffle nice. your deck somehow. But if Cat had a spark, they would just play spark. It is true. So now we have both of our breakers on only one credit here. We definitely need, I think, a trick shot for to have the money to be able to contest this remote server. Now, you're, the worst case, I think, the most expensive break here would either be a brawn or a gatekeeper, mm. and one of those, uh, Paul can't even res. Even just That's pressuring he, credits can yeah, make Paul's it Paul's only got the ball. five credits. Yeah. So, I mean, Gatekeeper is doable, right? It that, is. Well, you, gatekeeper three-ish to break. It's only three to break. Okay. Yeah. But then you still need two for Iqua if you think mm. that's what it is. And there's a chance that Paul doesn't have the Iqua. just wants to make it look like the Iqua. Or also, because he doesn't have seamless launch, mm -hmm. he wants to maybe score a 4-2 and then have a turn to put something in the remote server to get that tranquility trigger. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. If it's not full office, then you get the yeah, extra tranquility good. trigger next turn. But Cat has it. Test run. Whether they can pressure it comes down to credits here. If you test run, you, it's because you wanted to it's run this. because you need to run this. So trick shot's a big one. Overclock as well. Those are both nice ways trick to Trick shot would get credits. you a lot of credits. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that'd be great. And we have the daily cast taking in. No matter how this turn ends, Cat understands that they're going to be on the back foot because they have to draw a yes. lobby and then install and then it have for to eight credits. Play it the hard way. Maybe five. Do they have a uh, rigging up in I their deck? I don't know deck? if I see one. In the deck, probably. Okay. This is tense. Yeah. I think that's an overclock. Okay, overclock will do it. Now this puts cats on five credits. So some of the ice breaks for exactly five. Mm. A brawn does. You can't res a brawn. I think if it's a gatekeeper, you can res break it for technically for three. Let yeah, one but, of the subroutines fire and mm. still have Iqua money. Interesting. Because you don't have to break the draw three. You just have to break the other Okay, run. okay. So Paul does have to think about this. But really, I mean, Paul doesn't have to res this ice at all. No. If, if the ice won't stop them or do anything interesting, Paul doesn't have to res this whatsoever. No, because we're playing with house money. And it that just, being said, it yeah. can protect the tranquility. True. And the tranquility is very good when it, you're on it, only it's five It's very cards. valuable right now. Yeah. yeah. Two cards in hand. It's going to do a lot of work. Now, this outermost ice, whatever it's going to be, will be a code gate, mm -hmm. which means that we have Lobi Somu, so we can break it again. It's one for two strength and one for one subroutine. It comes in a two strength, so it's a very good breaker, as you must know. Gatekeeper. It's a gatekeeper. There we go. Okay. So, so now Ken strength. has choices, because if I'm not mistaken, to boost break, that is every credit, mm -hmm. but we have to fire the first subroutine. Yes. So this Which leaves exactly yeah. two credits to steal the Iqua. Yep, and not enough to track the tranquility, of yes. course. So that is draw three. Now, Paul here can shuffle any amount of agendas, reveal them back into the deck. Generally, technically, you have to shuffle. That's like a mm -hmm. rules thing. Okay. I don't know if you need to do it. And it's and just not course. Of course, it was a 4-2. Love that. Okay. Means those two from the overclock are gone anyway. Still respecting the Iqua and yeah. having enough money to get in there. A click left and a credit left at a minimum. So that Lobby Soma is going to go away. But stay, stealing two points, mm -hmm. slowing that PD down, who is going to get another seven credits coming in. Drawing up, we see an Onicom, we see a Mad Dash, and okay. I think a Trick Shot. So one click left here. So we had a couple clicks left. Mm. Here, you just want to set up, you just need to get your money up. Just clicking for credit, understanding daily cast is going to come in, but Test Run does put the card back on top of the deck. So we That's know right, yeah. what's going to be there. Drawing up here, we should have now six cards in hand after the gatekeeper fire. Mm -hmm. The question is, uh, well, it's not a question. I think you have a window here. <laughs> yes, you definitely you do. Definitely have a window. Install here. Install anything on the tranquility, and you have a moment because, like, very likely, Cat won't be able to get their lobby down. Yes, it's very Unless hard. There's a lot of cards I'm not really aware of in their hand that can make that happen. Now, gatekeeper is only zero strength for the rest of the game, so you're going to go through it between for one between one and two credits. Yep. But still, that is predicated on you spending eight for a mm. massive werewolf. So Paul definitely thinking this through, whether he can push and mm -hmm. whether he has another card in hand. At this point, we've gone through, I think, about 10 to 12 cards. You could assume a third agenda in there. Yeah, very likely. And on only two credits, you definitely need to fire the Tranquility this turn. I'd be surprised if we don't see it. One of yeah. the things that he has to worry about, too, now mm -hmm. is whether you need ice up R&D sooner than later. 
because yeah. Trickshot is one of the nice ways that Cat can pressure the remote server once they get the breakers down, but yep. also gets a multi-axis and lock mm -hmm. the deck on the way in. Thinking about the yeah. options here. We're wondering what he drew. If I he's got an agenda, I think he has to push. Yes. Yeah. Having a seamless is a big difference because For, if sure. not, you have to pre-advance every agenda and then it's obviously what are the agendas. Yep. But the question too is like burner can be a problem. Install, Install game two. Gain some money. Another okay. ice would do a lot for you. It doesn't really matter what the ice is. Just about anything that needs to be broken. Even a drafter would do enough. Mm. Just the idea of ice does a fair bit here. <laughs> That's true. It just has to look like ice. Even if you can't afford it. Paul's it's definitely thinking this through. Yeah. Again, it's about the Lobisomi. You talk about breaking up. That's the easiest way to get the Orca down. And not only, sorry, the Lobisomi mm -hmm. down. And not only do you have to afford the Lobisomi, you actually have to spend a click to draw it. Mm -hmm. Like we're already at a minimum uh, I know. two clicks away from getting the breaker down. That's that's only if you have unlimited economy. I, I know. I'm I I vicariously feel terrible about this. But, no, but maybe chance. the diesel drew a spark. That's exactly it. Okay, yeah, if yeah. the diesel exactly drew a spark, you 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 know spark yeah. one card, which is pretty wild. Okay, so we installed and advanced. It's an agenda for sure. Okay, on only three credits, that is exactly every single credit here that I believe we're gonna need, unless we want to seamless and have a click left to put on top of the tranquility yep. again. But now Cat understands it's just a gatekeeper and just an agenda behind mm. the, the zero strength code gate can it <laughs> not deal with it. Yeah. Looking at the cards in it. Oh, they have a rigging up. Oh, they. Oh, there it is. Yep. Cat's definitely looking at the rigging up there. Still, that's yeah. going to mean the lobby summon costs five credits. So the best that Cat can, can do here is draw. You can also rigging up an Anakam. I don't think you want to do that. No, 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 no. But uh, yeah, but, it, it exists. It's possible. But that means if you draw, draw you do credit, 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 rigging. rigging up, you're one click short, let alone the break, yep. <laughs> man. Like, you need the money. Uh-huh. But Cat's not that far off. No, and next turn, they'll have a bit more from Daily Cast. Like, yes. I think they're pretty close. They're not far off at all. Now, things like this will change incredibly if Paul can also find, like, the defensive upgrade in this yep. deck, Mana Garm or Anoetic Void, mm -hmm. and put that on the remote server as well. But this is, like, a really aggressive... We're, like, three turns in, and already the, <laughs> no. the 90 second turns are showing mm -hmm. up. Yeah, thinking this through again, both of these players are still in the upper bracket. So this yep. won't be their last game in the top cut, but that doesn't mean that you don't want to be thinking about this mm -hmm. one a fair bit. Do you have those uh, glass quick trackers? I bought no, a set of those at uh, Magnum Opus Worlds 2018. Are I, they official? No, not official. I, I, Somebody I, made them. I can't remember who was making or selling them. You see a bunch of people during these videos. Yep. Like Aaron also has them. Mm -hmm. I, I have a one with a Cobra split into four. I love I that one. I don't think I've seen that. That's it. It's great, yeah. Those are quite nice. Of course, I don't use click trackers enough because, like, I remember, and I never, I never forget. <laughs> never made a mistake in my life. <laughs> no. Oh, cat just taking the turn off. Click for okay, three yeah. credits. Let Paul get an agenda out, and next turn Lock. explode with yes. a rigging up lobby. Yeah, daily cast rigging up. I do believe we might have a trick shot on hand too. So mm -hmm. from that point, you can try and transition to controlling the table. But Paul here understanding what that means. The cat's not drawing, and I don't think cat's incentivized to draw because mm. obviously the lobby's on top. We just kind of need money before we can start interacting again. Yep. So click for four just means no econ cards in hand. That mm. is kind of what you expect. It's wild that click for four is the exciting <laughs> turn that changes like what this game looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Advance. It is the seamless. Seamless, fantastic. So we have a click left to put in the remote server. We're and back we're on, on top. seven. Yeah. Which means we can back get back at the greasing the palm and play at this turn. Which is even more money. But we're pulling, we're pulling back the seamless, looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah, very good. Which is also the other good card you get back with the PD. Install game Installing two. something, gaining money. Yep, we're good. Now, I don't expect this to be an agenda because Paul knows that if Cat tries, they can, I wouldn't say easily, but definitely get their most He has favorite. to suspect it's possible. Yes. I'm figuring that this is a defensive upgrade or something. Lobby or even Rashida. I don't know if a cat drew this turn or last turn, but Lobi came down rigging up. It should have two power counters on it. We're going straight for a trick shot. Oh boy. This is all house money. Two axes is off the top. We have eight credits to work with. Ikua on the top as a start. Spending oh, a click man. and two credits. That is three points. Cat's on game point as and soon that, as turn three. Yep. Oh boy. And that's free with the uh, trick yeah. shot money. Okay. If there's an agenda in the remote server, Paul is not feeling good, but I do not believe that Paul would put an agenda like this. No, no, certainly not. Breaking two on the gatekeeper. Lobi should have three counters now. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, two from the rigging up, one from the break. It looks like we're one short. Touching the new Touching? card first. I'm imagining a Rashida. Or, okay, oh, Spin Doctor. Cool. Love it. No, I don't think we're going to see this shuffled back in. You want to keep that as an option. Generally, you're happier. I think, well, I think we might as well, right? But like, like, you like the runner trashing these because you're on threat. So ablative, drafter, all these things bring Spin Doctor sure, back. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. It's like a big thing of modern HB is just getting your bin full of your good cards. Because you can get them back yeah. relatively easy. Yeah. 
So Spin Doctor is going to be trash with the house money. Tranquility, too. But we're just going and HQ just here. HQ. He just drew two cards. So let's look see what he drew. Yeah, he loved to run HQ after the corp draws mid-turn. Oh, so many cards in there. Couple cards we're going to touch again. We're on game point it? here. Gatekeeper. A gatekeeper. Okay. A card you can definitely break. We've seen no barriers so far, but those two breakers, the wolf and the whale, are on the table. The most mm -hmm. expensive breaker suite you're seeing in the standard format, but they're quite good at breaking things. Yeah, and they work well together, just like in nature. Yeah. The wolf of the ocean, the whale of the land. <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> yeah. The top of the deck should be unknown here. That was the spin doctor draw. And now we're really looking for a mana garm. Cat is only down on two credits. It'll be four after the daily cast. Okay. We're going to be firing that tranquility turn after turn almost regardless. And you yeah, need yeah. something taxing here like a brawn. Okay. We're definitely getting some upgrades here. There we go. Advance. Oh, man. That has to be an anoetic or a mana garm. And you have to hope that so, there's no burner coming in. Discarding install install advance. We know he has seamless in hand. So this is threatening to be the Iqua. You need to get in there. You need to have a click in two credits, realizing six hand size. We're not discarding. Cat and, only on four. Anoetic this could be exactly the right thing because he can discard his hand of six cards yes he might be exactly able to do it which means that the game has to then be an rnd if cat expects to win and if you look at the points here if you're seeing that's an echo on the remote server there's only eight points left in that whole rnd oh, i love this we're going okay, in yeah, we're going in we might as well, let's just tax this out let's tax this out Hang two we'll see if it gets rezzed if it is the anoetica looks like not only a yeah. cat chain anoetic those are cats pants <laughs> oh no that is cat's hands keeping keeping you out of the server Oh man, it's just like Army of Darkness. And I would avoid paying two. Now you have interesting forks here. Because you are gated by cards in hand and you need to keep the seamless. If Cat has yeah, a you burner, need to keep the seamless. they can disassemble this anoetic because you're down to one card. You can't fire anoetic. You yep. need a burner here. Drawing it to a pinhole, I mean, that's also quite good. Burner fundamentally would not change the math, right? Because you still it would still take three runs total. Am I wrong? No, because you do one burner, then he's down on one card, then you just run the remote. But Burner doesn't put three cards on the bottom. It puts two cards on the bottom. Yes, but if he anoetics the seamless, he can't score next turn. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It slows down. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Unless he draws a seamless. Yes. <laughs> okay, was. Okay. cool. Oh, yes, wait, so are we just going R&D? We're not going for I, a pinhole. I think, I think we have to go R&D. We have a pinhole. Oh my God, we have a pinhole. Touching the top of the deck. Not an agenda there. Only two clicks left, and you know it's an anoetic. The problem is, like, Cat doesn't have enough money. If Cat oh, pinholes the anoetic, they, they don't have, don't enough, money have enough money to break. We have to run HQ and hope it's in there. There's the seamless you oh, know is hanging out in there. there. Yep. That might be it. Just a Paul's slightly credit so short. Good right now. There we Double go. Double advanced seamless is taking you. Ikua to game point. What a That's fast fantastic. game. That's fantastic. Yep. One ice is all you need. Super fast game. Both players are so fast. Like, Cat got their whole rig out. Yeah. Pretty a quick. Bit clumsy. If a, a, a bit clumsy, but like then the rigging up yes. out of. Yeah. It, if Oof. the wolf got came in sooner, that game is entirely different. And that happens That's on the, the thing. The, the spark some, is a 50-50. Yes. Some players play two wolves. Some people say you should not do that because yeah. you need to get out the orca eventually. Yeah. But understanding, Paul, how to deal with that. And at the end of the day, it did just come down to slightly fewer credits. That's true. Yep. Wild. A so whole turn. Take most four. decks, unlike most people, do not have two wolves. That's correct. Okay. Well, someone, someone in the yeah, comments yeah, will probably yeah, give yeah, us the math. Two wolves. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Two wolves. Uh, wow, well played to both players. Yeah, now, great game. They're both continuing on. This is their first yes. loss. Cat has only lost cut. one game so far. Yes. We'll Paul be, is undefeated so far. Will we be seeing both of these players? That puts Paul into the upper bracket. I think facing off against whoever Aaron played this round. But uh, being in the upper bracket, you're feeling very comfortable. Cat Correct. on the last life. But we'll be back in just a bit with round three of the NBC Top Cut. This is flying on. Oh, boy. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Hey, thanks so much for watching. That's a wild game. If I'm not mistaken, Paul there on the corpse side only had six turns to close the game out. There's a big chance that outside of the flat line, which can happen as soon as turn one, largely, uh, that might be one of the fastest games we've ever seen on that channel. Again, it still takes a while. Both players are playing all the angles, calculating it there, but Cat just a couple credits short for that remote push turn after turn after turn. Tempo positive agendas, Tranquility Home Grid, Seamless Launch, HB can do it. And understanding the matchup and understanding the breaker suite and the sort of the weaknesses to some unwieldy draws sometimes if you can't get that massive eight credit breaker onto the table, Paul understands the lines. I'm just gonna push it turn after turn after turn and hope my centrals hold off. And five runner turns is apparently just a bit too short. Well played to both players. I want to give a huge thank you to all these names here and more. Again, the Metropolitan Grid, we are supported on Patreon. It gives me the time and the ability to do content like this, the live streams, all the sort of stuff that goes up on the channel. So thank you to all these names and our daily cast patrons. If you want to support content like this, you can find a link to the Patreon in the description. If you want to take a second to like the video, share, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff helps a heck of a lot and it's incredibly appreciated. 
With that, we're off to, I think round three is even the lower quarterfinals already, if I'm not mistaken. We are flying this way through the cut. We should be down to about six players, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even four. I'm very bad at those soda numbers, but uh, tune in. We'll be back next week on a Saturday morning with some more Nampy C Top Gun. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.